My name is Dean Foster, I'm 31 years old and I want to be a writer. So, um, okay, this is my stressed and tired, beautiful wife, Connie. Um, she's at home. This is the time where we get to eat, have a little conversation. Then it's focus, straight to work. There's been an opportunity, and the opportunity arose where there's a, a script writing competition, a 60 second script writing competition. And I thought, why not? Um, I've been working closely with my my partner, my directing partner, Daniel Glenn Barber, is amazing. I've always wanted to be a writer. It's something that I was talented at from a very young age. I was always very good at English. I was always very, very good at reading, reading aloud also. My mum told me, she says, Dean, your creative works from when you was at school, when you first went to school, the teachers loved you. They loved your vocabulary. They loved the way that you put stories together. And this is me at five, so okay. So, you know, when you're given adulation like that, it obviously empowers you and makes you feel like, you know what, they're right. And maybe I should go, I have to believe in myself also. And then the more pieces of writing that I started to do throughout the years, through school to sixth form to university, it was obvious that I, I had a talent, but it was about harnessing that talent, really focusing it, going to the highest point of education that I could and trying to make something of a belief I had from a very young age. So the theme of the competition is called Avoiding the Unexpected and I believe that preparation, planning, hard work, dedication and discipline can help you overcome any obstacle. And um, I've only, we've only got a week to get this done so I've got to get on my heels and make sure that this script is ready and, it, and then Dan has enough time to prepare, cast for actors, find locations and produce it so that we have a film, a, a 60 second short film. So uh, it's three o'clock in the morning, um, just trying to finish off the scripts that I've started. I'm, I'm about 20 seconds of the way through of the 60 second uh, short film that we got to try and produce. Um, but I am just seem to be hitting a bit of a brick wall right now. My, my mind is clouded. I'm tired. I've got work tomorrow. And I feel like just calling it a day right now, to be honest with you. Why now? Why now? Why not? Now is the time because you know what? We're, on, we're only on hit this planet for a short space of time basically, you know? Um, our, our days are numbered so it's a matter of urgency. If you want to get something done it's time to do it now. So yeah, I've only, uh, I'm only 20 seconds in into this uh, 60 second script. I've had a long day, um, coming home from work, having to cook for the kids, take Malachi football. Um, and now I need to get this done today because like I said, time is of the essence and time is running out. Dan needs to get this shot. My biggest distractions are probably distractions like most people have, social media. I think that's one of the biggest ones out there at the moment. Um, it's easy to, it's an easy form of escapism, you know, like to, to go on social media and take your, and, uh, prevent yourself from actually doing what you're supposed to be doing and just get lost in the world that is a fantasy to what's actually reality. That would be one of my distractions. Uh, family, like I just mentioned, you know, I have two boys, one being nine and one 18 months. And, um, and they, they both need time. Like, you know, if you want to be a good father, as much as I want to be a great screen, screen, script writer, writing for TV and writing for film, I want to be a great dad also. So that means that I have to invest time in them. That, um, that bloody light was getting on my nerves, so I turned it off. But finally, we are here. It's 10 past one in the morning and I finished the script. So now all I need to do is send it across to Dan um, for him to read and approve. 
and then he will get the ball rolling in terms of getting the actors. He's got the equipment. He'll start shooting and directing, and and then we'll see where we go from there. Um, the main reason I didn't become a writer sooner was because uh, in my third and final year of university, I had my my eldest son Malachi. With that being a problem and having a son that was here on this here on the earth now, and I had to look after him, I had to change my tact and look for something that was going to be able to provide me with with a. Uh, with the finances to protect my family, to provide for my son, and to provide for myself moving forward. We didn't miss it. Avoiding the unexpected without worry, without fear. I love it. I'm very happy. I'm very jubilant with um, the work that Dan's put together on this project. Um, it looks really, really good in terms of quality. Um, I'm amazed at how fast he's able to get the people together, you know, in terms of characters and occasions, and then put it together in, in, in this visual and um, so really really happy with that and obviously th this being our second project that we've worked together but our first in regards to trying to attain a cash prize I'm happy with uh, what we've put forward and I'm, I'm sure that we're going to do well so now it's just uh, up to Lady Luck to see what happens with us in our fate. We didn't win but um, well you yeah. Is it a waste of my time? You know what I'm saying? Like, what am I doing this for? Like, um, I, I, I'm a winner. I don't like losing. We were shortlisted, but you know, there's no, there's no cash prize for us. <laughs> there I was thinking, I'm gonna spend the money on this and uh, you know, go out, go and take the kids out here and, and buy the new trainers and the new flash, flash clothes and buy some equipment, obviously, for future films, but none of that materialized. And here I am in the kitchen, pissed. I feel that the perfect environment to write is when I've got a moment's peace to myself. However, when you're dealing with reality and, and your reality is having a family and in that family you have two children, one nine, one 18 months, then that means that you're gonna have to invest your time elsewhere also, even though writing may be a top priority. So um, all that means is that you have to be able to adapt, you have to be fluid. Um, which is which is all great. I, I can't say that these are characteristics I'm, I excel in all the time, but what I would say is that I've got perseverance. So it doesn't matter that even though I may have these different distractions, I still have a strong will and a strong determination to keep on going and never give up. We have a relentless attitude here. We won't give up. So the, the, the fight continues, the struggle continues. And then when we do make it, we look back at this footage and say, you know what? These guys knew what they were doing. They, they had perseverance, determination, and that talent that we, that, that we all need to succeed.